Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery. And they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Monarch Coffee by Onyx on the Barista Pro. Assuming you have selected the double cup option on the Barista Pro, place the single wall basket into the portafilter. We're at the same starting point. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. This cool box right here is Monarch Coffee by Onyx and it's also in this cool hopper. Guys, I've got my grind set to an eight. It's okay if yours isn't. We'll get to adjustments a little later. Remove the portafilter and wipe and dry out the basket. All right. Grab the dosing funnel and slip it on. This is just a handy little tool that Breville has included that helps you keep all the grounds in the basket in the grinding process. I'm gonna do two things at the same time. I'm gonna grind coffee and purge the brew group a couple of seconds just to refresh the water system and remove any residual coffee from the previous cycle. Press, purge. My starting brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee, 25 to 30 seconds of total brew time, yielding just under two ounces of espresso in the cup. It's gonna look like you have a lot of coffee and we're gonna verify that shortly. Just settle the bed like you would a cake pan. Set the dosing funnel aside, grab your tamper, align your wrist and elbow in a straight line, thumbs facing each other, and just press into the bed until it stops moving. And that's it. Let's check our dose. Using the razor tool that Breville shares with you, all you're gonna do is set it on top of the basket slide it in across the surface of the bed and just give it a couple of spins and get rid of any of the loose coffees. All right, let's give it one more polished tamp. There's no pressure needed on this last one, just a little twist. Come back to your machine, insert the portafilter into the brew group, press the double cup button and grab your cup. You shouldn't see the first drop of espresso until around the seven to nine second mark. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. Oh my gosh, we are just under 10 seconds from a delicious shot of espresso. All right, and right under the two ounce mark. Let's have a taste together. Mm. Oh, it's got that cooked berry flavor, almost like, mm, like a berry pie. We're getting milk, chocolate, loads of sugar. This is a great straight shot. It will also make a very delicious latte or cappuccino. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley from Beans.com. Thanks for dialing in with me.